Hi, I'm Christian Holmes from Sketlines.com, and with me today is Derry, Ontario native Jacob Sanderson. We will be continuing our conversation for the Cross Canada project. Liberal government just won a minority government. What are your thoughts on that, Jacob? Well, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed. As I mentioned before, I wasn't really a liberal supporter. I was more hoping that the Conservatives would win. But I think a minority is a fair compromise, obviously. And I'm just a little bit disappointed in how the Conservatives did, considering that the polls had them neck and neck up to the final day. And then, well, if you look at the results, it wasn't super close at all. You said that you were worried about transportation and climate change, and you really liked the uh, Conservatives' platforms for that. How do you think uh, the Liberals are going to handle uh, this, especially the minority government? Do you think there will be any improvement? I think that yeah, the Liberals do have a solid plan, obviously. I don't, I'm not one of those people who are going to completely uh, take a dump on them, for lack of better words. Like, I know some Conservative supporters would. Obviously, I think they do have a decent idea of what they're doing. I just hope that they stick to it. Obviously, election promises versus what really happens, sometimes they don't really match up very well. But as long as they do what they say say they will do, then I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think I have a fair amount of confidence in them. What issue would you like the minority government to focus on first out of the two that you've really been talking about, climate change and transportation? I think transportation, as it affects me the most. Obviously, living in Barrie, if I want to get to Toronto, I have to take Go Transit, as I don't own a car. So improvements in that area, not only in between Barrie and Toronto, but also the greater Ontario area, would benefit me most. I think climate change is an important issue, but that's an issue for the whole world, not just Canada itself. So I think the issues on transportation would affect me and many other Canadians more so than that, especially when it comes to improving transportation both locally, provincially, and federally. What is something you'd really like to see from this government? What is something that you'd love to see them do? Well, on the issue of transportation, I want to see lower costs for airfare uh, nationwide. Canada has one of the highest prices for domestic airfare in, in the developed world compared to the U.S. and Europe, where it's it's quite ridiculous. And our train systems aren't very good as well. Obviously, there's been some improvements with via rail, but that really only exist in a certain corridor between Toronto and Montreal and Southern Ontario. Nationwide, it's, it's really not that good. And I would just like to see that improved. You personally, are you excited for these years? Or you just want to get them over with and just hope that the government can have a another election in two years since it is a minority government? I just want to get it over with. Um, I'm not like I said. I I have some confidence in the liberals, but then again, I'm not the biggest fan of them at all, and I'm disappointed in how my conservative did. I'm disappointed with their nomination of Andrew Scheer. I think that if they had a different leader, things could have gone much differently. And I'm hoping that by next election, that would change. That's what I'm optimistic for to see how the conservatives come out the gate next election. Right now, I think it's just going to be more of the same. Maybe some things will be a little bit different now that the minority is a bit closer. But other than that, uh, I don't think it'll be too much of a change. Thank you, Jacob, for doing this interview. This is the after interview for the Cross Canada Project.